Kringle. It's gonna be another hot day here in Southern California. It's been hot. It's uh, the end of September. Um, second day here, we're doing this uh, little project. And uh, where we're at right now is obviously you saw us, we set the post. We have four posts set in cement. We put up most of the, uh, the boards yesterday. That serves as like the backsplash area behind the barbecue. And then we have this uh, box that we've built in a box that we built out of plywood. This is where the TV is basically gonna go. And then we're gonna have some shelves there on the side. Um, and that, that box is what we're gonna be putting in behind uh, this wall today. And so that's, you know, I've seen, and, and the reason I'm making this video is because I've seen a lot of um, outdoor kitchen areas. Um, we are gonna have a patio cover that's uh, still a few months away. So that will give us some shade. But I've seen a lot of outdoor kitchen areas where the TV is just out there exposed. Um, and I just, I wanted to try something a little different, something I haven't really seen uh, that's a little cleaner. Um, so if we're using or watching the TV, um, it's easily accessible. But for just regular days when we're not using the TV, then it's tucked away and it's out of sight. So that's kind of what we're going to be working on today. Um, okay, well we got the box in. Missed that on the camera. But wait, most of the TVs are like 34 inches high. So yeah, I mean that's good. That's Is good that right there? Yeah, that's a good height. It's pretty close to the there. It's 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 more like this, not, not like that, more like this. Alright, the moment of truth, let's see if it works. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> I think I need more like this, not more like... No, but, I, I'm, is there something we need to do to activate those? No, 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 no. It's bending. Going with the steel instead of the wood. So far, so good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Can you hold the, the two by six? Hold it. Don't fold it down. Uh, okay, put it back again. What happened? <laughs> and oh, you put a lumber screw here. This is getting loose already. Yeah, they the right loose. Is it holding? Barely? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? How it's hard tight. is it for you to close it? Change it. It's definitely, definitely looking better. Nice. It's exactly what I was hoping for. I was 
over the weekend I was thinking maybe it's just better if we do a barn door you know <laughs> like a, like a just a, or hinges or something because I'm thinking this is too complicated and too much weight and now but no we just we just needed the right hydraulic yeah in the right location I think. Yeah. <laughs> Only took a week. <laughs> well, it's there. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a little bit of a TV review included in this cabinet that we've been building outside. This is a Hisense 65 inch Android TV. And one of the reasons why I'm really drawn to this TV and I want to use it outside in this cabinet that we built is because it's one of the brightest TVs available on the market. And although I didn't want to use like a, uh, a, a TV that's only made for outdoors, like a Sunbright TV, because in the next few months, the goal is we're going to have a patio cover. And so I don't think um, for me, it's really justified spending that much money on an outdoor TV. This is uh, one of the best options that you can buy in the Hisense uh, lineup. And it um, has a peak brightness as high as 1500 nits, which from what I um, have learned, and I've learned a lot in the last couple of weeks about brightness and nits, is that typical TVs may only have three or 400 nits. So, not that this is going to be three to four times uh, brighter, but uh, it's certainly, I think, going to be somewhat noticeable. That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to include that. We're going to mount this TV outdoors. over here keeping an eye on me but hard to tell on the camera not a noticeable difference but in person there's definitely a difference the TV on the bottom is the new TV it's um, definitely a little bit brighter is it noticeable I don't know it's hard to say it's really hard to see in the camera but it's bright when you're here in person it's definitely brighter than the TV on top <laughs> so it's got clearance here and then uh oh see my thing is uh it's gonna be close over there with the bracket right the bracket is like almost two and a quarter let me get the <laughs> take them out and connect oh no I, I we can probably plug it in let me check yeah it's plenty now yeah, it's gonna be fine. Right? Baby. Baby was crying. Hold on, Ethan. Please, the computer. Mm. Alright, so here we are. We've got a pretty typical TCL TV. This is one of the lower end models. And we've got the Hisense TV behind us. I think uh, for the money, I think this TV is really, really looks good. The, the, the camera really doesn't do it justice. Um, it's a beautiful day here in San Diego. It's super sunny out right now. I mean, it's as sunny and there isn't a cloud in the sky. Um, so this is about as bright as it's going to get. We've got a little bit of shade from the, uh, the door here. 
And then in our situation, in a couple months, we're gonna have a patio cover. And so that's really gonna um, provide a little bit more shade. And I think for us, our situation, this TV is gonna be perfect. Uh, this TV, if I had set this TV up inside this uh, cabinet, it would have really been difficult to watch um, any time during the day. Just because of the glare. I see more of the background, uh, the other side of the yard and the glare in this TV than I do the actual picture. So just wanted to do a quick little side-by-side -side comparison. I uh, hope that gives you a better idea of um, how this Hisense TV is holding up. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this uh, TV enclosure turned out. Um, but I wanted to just mention a few things. Um, for me, what was really the hardest part about this was the weight. I mean, we use the hardwood for this, uh, for this backsplash area behind the barbecue. And so this wood was heavier than we expected it. And uh, getting the right struts for this amount of weight, which I think we calculated was about 80, 90 pounds, was a little bit of a challenge. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video with the, uh, the struts that we use and then depending on the amount of weight that you have for your TV enclosure, you'll buy the appropriate uh, struts to go with it. Um, and then the placement, just lining it up, it took a little bit of trial and error. Um, and then using the steel up here was definitely um, a big difference. I mean. When we had it in the wood, you saw earlier in the video, there was a little bit of bend. It just wasn't right. Um, the steel made all the difference. And then we put the struts, we, uh, we drilled holes through the steel where we attached the struts directly into the steel. Um, using the steel here, we were able to eliminate that cross brace that went through here. Um, and overall, I think the, uh, the enclosure itself is pretty straightforward. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then the TV itself, so because this isn't an outdoor TV, um, I have noticed that it gets pretty hot. Um, we had a couple summer days in the last few weeks where it was really warm and we were out here watching TV. And so what I did is um, I have this um, power strip here and I purchased a couple USB fans. And, and basically this seems to have solved my issue. Um, just some very simple fans and it just creates a little bit more circulation and then in the top corners of the TV box I basically put in some small uh, vents to give the uh, the hot air a, a, you know an easier escape route so just better ventilation the fans made a big difference um, and I think you know I'd love to get some feedback if you attempt to do something like this uh, leave a comment in the description of this video and, um, and if you have any questions, just uh, leave, a, leave a question below. I'll try to get to all your questions. Um, I did this a little bit backwards, but we're gonna go into uh, doing the videos that I've recorded and filmed uh, for the process of our pool. Um, the pool we just finished a few months ago and I did that as an owner builder. Um, I was able to complete the pool pretty quickly, probably save some money, um, and I'm gonna work on those videos next. Oh yeah, there was one other thing too. Um, if you looked what, earlier in the video when we first uh, put this on and we opened it and closed it a couple times, you'll notice there were only two hinges in that video. Um, and again, it just wasn't opening and closing right. It just felt like there was just too much weight, too much stress on those hinges. So we, uh, we switched out. We basically, we added a third hinge in the middle. So we have three hinges across the top and that made all the difference in the world. That was a big, um, big plus and a big improvement just for the, uh, the ability of this to open and, uh, and, not have any, and not have any stress on the wood or any buckling or anything like that. So um, I tried to conceal the hinges as much as I could. Uh, my original idea was to put them inside the wood, but um, the way I constructed this box for the TV inside, it, there just wasn't a practical way to do it. Um, so I just got black hinges and I used black hardware for the handle and I figured it's a minimal uh, cosmetic issue, but overall pretty happy with it. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and I hope you're having a great day. We'll talk to you soon.
YouTube. YouTube. They don't like YouTube. You like the TV? Yeah. Get